All right, so we have changed our uh, file and uh, just built that again. And let's uh, start copying that over to our phone. But uh, the problem that we ran into was that it said it was for a capital Life XL and the phone itself is a lowercase Life XL, so it wouldn't allow it to copy. And so we just made a line in the... Um, board config .make file and said uh, well you can actually put it just about anywhere lineage make or whatever and we just said target OTA assert device and we gave it some options life XL life XL life XL life XL so with the underscore without the underscore in uppercase and lowercase so that way um, pretty much every aspect of that would be covered so that uh, that now is copying over and as soon as that's done, we can flash that on the phone. And of course, we're going to use our uh, ADB shell. We're going to team and recovery project. We're going to install. And in this case, we're going to say SD card, and we're going to do this lineage that's being copied right now. Of course, we have to wait till it's completely done. So now that it's done, we can flash that to the phone. Hopefully, that will build properly. And so here it goes. It's installing, and it's patching. Now, since we rebased this entire uh, tree on the U unique, um, we may have some problems. I expect that we um, may not be able to actually boot all the way up into this because it uses the U unique does use a slightly different uh, screen and drivers for the screen, and it also uses uh, you know different a couple other different things and uh, so different cameras and a few things like that so not quite as close as the Wico LL or L5510 um, but I think switching over to this tree will be better for us in the long run especially because you unique goes all the way up to um, Oreo and I believe Pi uh, whereas the Wico ended at uh, Nugget so Hopefully we can uh, we can utilize this and see what we have to edit and change, and then we can work through that and look at upgrading from uh, Marshmallow. Because right now we're upgrading from Lollipop to Marshmallow, but we can look at after this upgrading from Marshmallow to Nugget, and then hopefully uh, Nugget to Oreo. And uh, so a lot of good things I think are coming down the pipe here of course that script succeeded so we're going to exit uh, ADB reboot and when we do this uh, the phone of course is going to reboot and we should pull some logs ADB log cat and we're going to T those into um, you know marsh mellow log and we'll call it marshmallow one because this was our first attempt and we'll start pulling it um, of course it says waiting for device let me double check that yeah here we go I have to make sure to pass it to the virtual machine maybe yep, it is passed to the virtual machine Need to be devices. Okay. Sudo su devices. Still, yeah, we don't have permission uh, on this. I'm going to have to edit the build prop to make sure it gives us permission to um, to work for us there. So. I will uh, do that, and we will. Uh, well, actually, we'll 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 do it. Uh, oh, 
Well, uh, before we have to go any further, the phone actually completed booting up here, so I'll be able to give it permission uh, straight from the uh, the menu here. Um, still says preparing to start optimizing. Now I have the lineage on the screen and a um, lot of red flashes and uh, a lot of things going on here. And it appears the touch screen is not working. So that's not really handy. But it did boot up, and it's sitting here saying lineage. If I could actually hook to it with our ADB permissions, then we would be able to do something here. Let's see if we can kill the server. And of course, no permission. So I'm going to reboot it and uh, let's uh, see if we can edit that build prop to uh, do what we want to do here. All right, so I've got the phone rebooted into recovery mode, and uh, of course we can see ADB devices. We see that it's there, and what we're going to do is we're going to jump in with ADB shell. And of course I did a video on this before, so I'm just kind of going to rush through it, and uh, you can, uh, uh, you know, follow along or watch the other video if you really need the in-depth explanation. But essentially, we don't have permission to talk to this phone, so what we need to do is we're going to we're going to give it permission. So one of the ways we can do that is uh, we can change directory to data. We're going to look, and there is a misc file. So we cd into misc, and we cd into adb, and we look in there, and there's nothing. OK, so here's the problem. We exit, and we are going to adb push. And on your computer, if you've ever attached to your um, you know your phones before we can look in uh, Android and we see we have this ADB key dot pub and this ADB key and so what we want to do is we need to ADB push and we're going to push that Android ADB push we're in Android that's why uh, we need to ADB push uh, this ADB key dot pub and we're going to put it on data misc a, helps if I spell it right ADB and we're going to call it ADB underscore keys and uh, I do a video on this uh, while creating device uh, tree from scratch that goes into this more in depth of what we're doing but essentially we're just tricking it saying we gave it permission to do what we're doing now and so now if we ADB reboot yeah that was right ADB reboot the phone should reboot and we can now run our command And we see, as long as I give the device to the virtual machine. Oh, bummer. Still came up with no permissions. OK. So um, I didn't do that quite right. So I'll check on that and see what I did wrong. OK, so I made the same mistake in the other video and so that's really funny I obviously didn't learn anything from my mistakes so uh, A to B devices I have rebooted the phone in Team Win Recovery Project and added it to my virtual machine here and if we jump into shell and we're gonna mount system and uh, I cover this more in depth in the other video, but uh, we're, we're going to go through a little bit here just because we have to do it. Um, we're going to uh, take a look at um, K2 
cat uh, system uh, build dot prop and if we uh, grep ADB we see there's uh, kind of one line for ADB but not all the lines that we need so we're going to echo uh, we're going to say persist dot service dot ADB dot enable equals one and we're going to add that to notice there's two greater than symbols not just one one would override it two just says add to and our system build dot prop so we've added that line in we're going to add a couple more here um, service dot debuggable uh, we're going to um, what else should we add? How about uh, persist uh, sys.usb.config uh, and we're going to make that equal mtp comma adb. So we'll add all that to our build prop and now if we grab our adb we see all those lines in there which is good because that's what we want. So um, and that should be enough. So now we're going to exit. We're going to ADB reboot and hopefully this time, crossing our fingers, that I didn't mess this up yet again and we'll see, uh, we'll be able to pull our logs. Now we want to add those to our um, to our uh, you know device tree and I need to add the device to phone here devices 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 not added We've got the blue life XL added here oh it's having trouble with the MTP that's causing us some grief. So, I'm going to do this once again, uh, but this time what we're going to do is instead of MTP, we're going to give it, uh, um, how about PTP, which would be like for a camera. That should work, hopefully. Rebooting the phone so we can jump back into ADB again in Team Win Recovery Project. There we go. All right, ADB shell mount system, uh, and then we are going to echo. Actually, this time we'll kind of need a nano system uh, build dot prop nano not found. Mm what would be another tool um, if you don't have nano LSS bin Vi, that's what we need, okay Vi System build dot prop. I hate using Vi, by the way. I know it's terrible for a Linux user to say that, isn't it? Um, so let's see. I say insert, and now insert, and then I can say insert, and then I can say uh, write. No. 
escape, I can say write and quit. Now let's cat that system build dot prop and there we go. So let's try that. And of course I have to give it to here. Which I did give it. Alright, I'm going to have to monkey with this because this is getting really annoying now. <laughs> but uh, let me uh, let me monkey with this for a minute. We'll see what we can come up with. All right. So what's interesting is um, all that work that we did trying to be able to pull the log wasn't working. Well, I figured out that it wasn't a problem with what I was doing. It was a problem with the virtual machine. For some reason, it wasn't passing to the virtual machine properly. Um, here we are, same device uh, outside the virtual machine um, on my my regular computer which is running the virtual machine and I can hook right to it um, so that is very very odd to me personally I don't know why that is um, but uh, but here we are so uh, we can pull our logs and now we can try to figure out what is uh, going on here so we get our log cat we're going to T and we're going to pull that log we're going to call it marshmallow uh, one dot log And it helps if I say a d b, and so we've got that um, information. So we're actually going to do this again, um, but hopefully, uh, um, do the whole thing while it's booting up, so we can get the whole log cat instead of just the end of it. So let's grab that and then we will um, be able to do some digging and see what we can uh, fix, see what we can work on, see what we can do to get it fully functional. Now it is booting up all the way. Uh, we see the uh, Lineage OS uh, boot logo going, scrolling by, and it is going to boot up all the way, but the screen is not working. Well, the screen is lit up, but the touch screen is not working, so we're going to mess with that a little bit. Um, that was a similar problem that we saw on our team win recovery project and so uh, hopefully just changing a few of the um, vendor binaries is going to fix that for us and uh, we'll be able to get that working hopefully shortly. So we're pulling this log, we're going to let it boot all the way up and then once it is completely booted then we will uh, stop pulling the log and we can take a look at what we've got. So hopefully for you, if you're having a similar problem where you're using a virtual machine and you're not able to talk to the phone properly, you may need to actually pull your logs from your real machine instead of your virtual one. Uh, just something to keep in mind. It might be a problem with the uh, permission keys uh, rather than, uh, than necessarily your virtual setup. Um, so here we are. We're at the linear screen, and I'm trying to touch the screen, and nothing happens. It won't let me touch the screen, well, I mean, it can't stop me from touching the screen, it won't accept any input from me touching the screen. So, uh, looks like most of the errors and uh, information has stopped, so we're going to go ahead and um, close our log here.